Amen and amen. And this well, is the day. Yeah, God praise the Lord. Created. This is the day that the Lord created, uh, the Lord has made. We are here tonight for day 21 of Proverbs and Prayer for the month of August. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Uh, we've been going through the Proverbs all month. Uh, this is day 21. And we have had an awesome time. And for me, it has been a challenging time because as we read the Proverbs, the Proverbs will begin to challenge you. It will begin to uh, to uh, mess with your uh, logic, your logic. Yeah. And the way that you live your life, even as believers, the way we live our lives, it helps to reveal. The good thing is that it helps to reveal the heart of God. It helps to reveal, reveal the will of God. And under, and us understanding that we do have we we can we can manage the direction that our life actually goes in, and a lot of people don't believe that they believe that you know whatever happens happens. Um, some people believe that well whatever the will of God is that's what it's going to be, and that stuff is not true. You but you can actually manage the direction that your life goes in, even though you may have some troubles that come. The scripture says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. So there may be attacks that come in your life that come against you, but you have the authority. You have the power to change circumstances. You have the power to control the direction that your life goes in by how you respond how you respond before things happen, how you respond after things happen. And so knowing this, it causes us to think, for me, I know it causes me to think differently before I make decisions. Right, right. One of the things that we see in Proverbs 21, we see it in a bunch of Proverbs where it talks about laziness, where it talks about being, uh, not getting up, going to work, uh, not doing the things that you need to do. And, and and those that are lazy end up hungry. And you don't want to end up hungry in your life. So you want to make sure they end up hungry. Uh, those that are lazy end up hungry. They end up poor. And that's not God's will for us. No. It's God's will for us to prosper and be in good health. And mm-hmm. so when we make the proper decisions to, to go to work, mm-hmm. To um to uh to to, to pray to uh, how we treat people even doing a reasonable service with the Lord <laughs> yeah how we do that mm-hmm. has for, has an outcome yes and we're able to control the outcome of our lives in fact when you look when we look at the first scripture in Proverbs it says good leadership is a canal this is from the Message Bible. Good leadership is a channel of water controlled by God. He directs it to whatever ends he chooses. And so when uh, I'm going to read this again in the ESV version, it says, uh, verse one, the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. And so what it is saying here is that when we make decisions, that are in alignment to the will of God. Yes. It puts us in a position where the end is controlled by God. Yes. And so it goes to say that we are making the determination because see, some people believe that they run around and they say, well, you know, God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. Well, that's not scripturally true. Right. God is not in control of the earth because the earth he's given to man. That's in the scripture. Now that's in the scripture. And so the way that God operates in the earth is through man. Yes. And so the only way for God to be in control is when we allow him to be in control, meaning we're making decisions about our lives that are in agreement to God's will and God's way. And when we do that, then the outcome is controlled by God but it's actually God working through us. So we are actually in control of the outcome because if God is in me and I'm in him, we are one. Right, right, right. And that's how we want to be. And that's what we find out here in the Proverbs is that there is there are ways. There are ways that God has and he wants us to follow those ways. 
I just read one. Um, a verse two, the Bible it talks about God examining the motives of people. It says that uh, in verse two, it says every man, every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the but the Lord weighs the heart, meaning He weighs the motives. He examines the motives of our heart, the and so yeah, of our heart. the intentions yes. of our heart. And so you can say, "Well, I'm doing the right thing," but if you're doing the right thing for the wrong reason, it's not fruitful anyway. It's not going to be fruitful. It's frugal. <laughs> Not fruitful. Yeah. So we have to have a heart that is alignment in, in aligned with the will of God, allowing his heart. And so when we recognize and examine ourselves, mm -hmm. we must put truth. We must ask God to shine the light on our hearts mm -hmm. so we can know why we do what we do. Right. Sometimes in one of these script, one of the scriptures says about uh oh it says in verse three, clean living and justice means more than religious performance. Amen. Meaning I can I can religiously do a thing. A regiment and everything. Do a regiment. But if it doesn't align with how I'm living my life, amen. Kind of messed up. I'm a fraud. Phony. Thank Fake and false. <laughs> That's you know? what I've been hearing this week. Fake and false and exposing those errors of fake and false. <laughs> yeah. And so so God is, since we've been doing this, God has been doing this. He's been doing it with me because sometimes I get mad and I want to do stuff or, or I get frustrated or I just don't feel like it. But that's when I have to now, I have to allow the Holy Spirit to shine on my heart, show me my motives, show me why. I'm doing what I'm doing or not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. So that the motives of my heart are exposed. And yes. so uh, it says that uh, in verse 11, simpletons learn the hard way, but the wise learn by listening. Listening is hearing. Faith comes by hearing. The way that we please God is by faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And so I need, uh, it, it says that the wise learn by listening listening to other believers that are operating in wisdom, listening to most of all to the Holy Spirit. And by that, they gain knowledge because you are listening. You are listening to his instructions, his insight, his tr the spirit of truth. You are listening. Hallelujah. Yeah. And see, when I'm loyal to God, then I hear the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And he shows me the ways of the wicked and I see right through their plans. Yeah. I can, it, it is revealed to me um, actions that others are doing that are wicked. And, and God, because he sh he's shining the light. He shines the light on uh, wicked agendas. Yep. Because we're living in 2022. Scripture must be fulfilled, but there are some wicked agendas and we have to pray and believe God and align ourselves with what he loves. <laughs> yeah. And see, and the thing is this, uh, like in verse 16, it says, one who wanders from good sense will rest in the assembly of the dead. And so there, there is a way of thinking that makes sense to God. But when we wander from that, then we start to make our bed with the dead. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, and it won't you won't your our intentions. God weighs our intentions in this scripture. He looks at our intentions. He looks at our, what we are going after. Does it align with what He wants? And saying, "Hey, we got to check those things. If they are going one, 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 and and they're not equaling to the Lord, we got to check those. Yeah. yeah, assess those, and then come to the table and say god show me holy spirit how can i carry out the purpose the plans of you so i don't deal with the punitive damages <laughs> good good way good way we don't deal with the damages yes and, and it's like like one of the things that that i'm going to be changing and increasing in my life uh tomorrow because day is over but um tomorrow i'm going to push 
or go hunting, go after what is right and what is kind and what is loving. The things of the heart of God are, I'm going to put more of an effort in going after that because in doing so, I will find life, life itself. And that's what the scripture says. So I've got to look at where I am and saying, okay, all right, tomorrow I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to make a change and I'm going to pursue more of the kingdom. I'm going to pursue more of the things that God loves, love what he loves, hate what he hates. And that may mean I have to walk away from some things or not participate in some things. But my thing is I'm going, I got to go. I'm yeah. going after something. I am going, the Bible talks about, it says, says the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent take it by force. I'm going to violently advance the kingdom of God. That means that I need to know what the kingdom of God is, what God's will is, go what God's ways are. So I'm going to go and I'm going to be pursuing, listening to the word, hearing, listening so that I can carry it out. I'm going to, I'm going to step. I mean, I'm not saying that people don't do that and that I don't do that now, but I can, there's another level. We go from glory to glory. So I'm going to be stepping to another level mm -hmm. of my relationship with God. And so in doing so, I know I have to watch my words and I have to hold my tongue. Because, see, I'm going to save myself a lot of grief when, I'm, when, I, and I, when I watch what comes out of my mouth. Yes. So I'm going to speak those things that are kingdom and I'm going to silence myself on my opinions on stuff and how I feel and what I think. Because in what the, the kingdom, flesh thinks. Because in the kingdom, your flesh opinion does not hold any value. And he doesn't really care about that. What, right. what did I say, son? What did I say, daughter? Are you listening to me? Am I are you agreeing with me? Are you vexing me? Do you love me? Because see what I feel. I mean, it's like this. There are certain people that that deal with what they refer to as church hurt. Uh oh. And that's when somebody in the church that made you upset, mad, have done you wrong, and they and and you may be legit and and right in, uh, uh, and feeling that and way. feeling that way because some people in church will do you wrong. True. true. I've done some people wrong, not on purpose, but the thing is, it happens sometimes. Yep, yep. But either you can sit and wallow in the pain, come on, now. upset, sad, they did me wrong, or you can get a kingdom focus. Teach, teach it. Go ahead. Realizing I'm not here for everybody else's amusement. Hallelujah. I'm not here for everybody else's opinion. It doesn't matter what they think of me or say about me. The only thing that matters is what God says, what God sees, me and my faith, my relationship with him. Now, if the preacher's giving some good word, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to let the, the people around me stop me from getting what God has for me. Amen. I mean, if like, if, if somebody put out a good steak in front of you and you ain't ate all day, Baby. Cut, cut, you cut. not going to let anybody stop you. anything or anybody <laughs> stop you from eating your kids can be acting a fool but i ain't ate all day so you let them know you know what i'm finna eat this steak and you sit there and you eat that steak and then when you get done you deal with whatever you, go, you need to deal with deal with yeah whatever you need to deal with mm -hmm. <laughs> so i know my parents used to do that wait till i get done with this and so you don't let the devil cause you to have havoc in your life because issues are going on. Right. So you continue and be at peace. And that, when it's done, whatever is done, then you deal with that root or whatever yeah. that cause of that situation. But you like, I'm going to be at peace. Yeah. I'm not going to let and see a lot of people stop going to church altogether because something happened that wasn't cool. Or they or they, they want to go church hopping. The thing is, nobody in church is perfect. No. The people that are at the church aren't perfect. Not no. even the pastors are perfect. No. You know, we have an assignment from God. And when we're operating in the spirit, right. then you want to make sure you're in the house to receive what God is saying. Now, I, you position yourself so that you're not hurt. But the thing is this, we can't, we can't be so easily offended. Yeah. 
We can't be. We've got to. Be. I'm here to hear from God and grow from Him. And and as He was talking in the beginning, I heard I heard this. Remember in Scripture where uh, Abraham before Abraham was a different name, and Abram. and and there are other people in the New Testament where God changed their name so their past needs to stay in the past because their name has been changed yep and a lot of that you have to realize you may have hurt somebody but when god changes your name you're no longer that same person that hurts yep Amen. and you have to be okay with the newness that god has given to you and not go back. Oh, you gonna you you about to see the old me. Oh, I'm finna let them know. I'm about okay. to. That's all right. I'm, I, I'm gonna let them know. I'm, you know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm I wasn't saved all of my life. Right. Really. Right. I'm still a G. You know. Really. Honestly, I'm still a G. You know. I mean, stuff like that. The thing is, <laughs> coming to the point where we get over it. Right. I'm not gonna. I ain't got time to be sad and upset because of some negatives and that's the thing some negative things are gonna happen to us that's scripture that's it says the that. afflictions that come but the lord delivers and we have to believe god and accept his deliverance yes and then live the life that he is directing us to live which is something that we do learn in proverbs yes how to live that life loving loving the poor all right, giving uh, the 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 um, evil people ignore the poor, uh, wise people give. Yeah, going evil beyond people, yourself. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's evil people go and they take, whereas oh yeah, the me, people me, of me. God are givers. And because I am a giver, men give to me good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give it to my bosom. And so I just want to encourage you, love the Lord. Find out his ways, follow his ways, pursue after him, and you will find a glorious, abundant oh, life. Number 23 is enough. I want to end with that. Can I? Or did you? Yeah, I thought we touched that, but go ahead. Or did you do with the words? Yeah. Uh, okay. You talked about it. Okay. Watch your words. And, go ahead, though. Do oh, it. I didn't remember. Watch your words and hold your tongue. You'll save a lot of grief. And he probably, we probably did touch on that. But I guess that's important because whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. And a lot of times what we say sets us up for failure. It sets us up for falling. Yep. And we have to catch our tongue for life and death is in the power of the tongue. It didn't say it's in the power of God's tongue. It's in the power of your tongue. You, and you can speak idly and God will be like, didn't I send you to brother, sister, so-and-so? Were you not supposed to show them love, but you got all up in your emotions and was like, hey, I don't want to. I don't think they need that. But didn't I tell you? And so that helps us learn to listen to Holy Spirit a little bit more than what we are doing now. Yeah, we, we and that's the thing. We've got to watch what we say, no matter what the situation is, how we respond, not react. How we respond is important. I had a friend, he was talking to a person and the conversation was going negative. And he's like, before I say something crazy, I'm just going to end this call. Now, the other guy got upset because he just he said, well, he just hung up on me. Well, no, he actually warned you he was going to hang up on you. But the thing is, before he could say the wrong thing, yeah, he used wisdom to say, Let's, let me end this call. Let me stop this conversation. And, and I have to do that even when I'm refereeing. I have to something. I'm just not, I'm not even going to go. We ain't even going to talk about it. Because before I say the wrong thing. Beep. I'm just going to end this. Before you get teed up with a tech, T. let me just move on. And I'll just move on. <laughs> and that's what God and, is saying. And, that's, and I may come back and talk to them later, but by that time, we've had an opportunity Calm to down. either allow God to, uh, to, uh, to calm us down 
or we allow the devil to fester us up. And if we allow Satan to fester us up, then ain't no talking anyway. Right. But the opportunity was given. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray and then we're going to get out of here. Uh, you want right. to pray? Or You got it. Father, we thank you for this time together in your word. We thank you, Lord God, that you reveal motives. And God, yeah, I need you to shine the light on us so you can reveal the <laughs> motives of our hearts. So we're not just doing stuff religiously. Amen. So we're not just saying what we think and Amen. what we want. So we're not so so we're not just scurrying and hurrying along, but we're carefully planning. Yes, Father. And God, we are listening to your spirit. Amen. Hearing what Amen. you have to say, pursuing righteousness, yes. pursuing yes, your kingdom, Father. your yes. ways, pursuing life. Glory, In Jesus' Lord, name, Lord, loving Lord. others, Lord God. Being wise and yes. not being foolish. Yes. Father. So Father, give us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. Let us listen to what he is saying and then the boldness to obey. In Jesus and I name. thank you, God, for righteous living. And I thank you, God, that that's going to result in a glorious life. And I thank you, Father, for your love. And nothing shall separate us from your love. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, thank you for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. See you, see you. See you, see you.